I applied to Dartmouth and every of my school test optional. I did not submit my test. Pick what speaks to you because if you don't connect with your personal statement, how do you expect somebody else to connect with it? Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, my name is Trinai. Welcome to the family. So, I'm a high school senior and I'm starting my college content or whatever. If you're new, do not forget to like and subscribe, turn on your post notification because it's about to get lit in here because we are going to college. Now, presently, it is what's today's date? It's April 22 and it's 6 or 8 p.m. I'm currently in New Hampshire. I'm in Dartmouth. I'm on campus actually. Well, not actual, actual campus, but I'm like right there next to it. I had a tour this um, afternoon and the tour was wonderful. It was like this the campus is very beautiful and it has like a it has like a calm aesthetic to it. It's like my type of aesthetic. And, but I'll talk more about it as I go into the video. So today's video is going to be about how I got into Dartmouth as you guys clicked on it. And I want to like get straight into it and not like be around the bush. But the overall right now I've not committed to Dartmouth um, right now because I also got into Stanford and you guys are also gonna be getting the Stanford video very soon so it's like a very different it's, it's like a two major choice like decision to make because I got into Stanford and I got into Dartmouth too but today this video is all about Dartmouth it's all about Dartmouth so I applied to a couple of Ivy Leagues I applied to Columbia, Penn, um, UPenn, NYU and what other IV? I think those are and um Dartmouth. Those are like the four IVs I applied to. And fun fact that I think a lot of people don't actually know, Stanford is not an Ivy League, but it's also like very difficult to get into compared to some Ivy Leagues. So but it's not an Ivy League. So I got declined from Columbia, UPenn and NYU but got accepted into Dartmouth, which is like this is how this thing goes. <laughs> but I watched a couple of videos and I was like, oh, what do they talk about in videos like this? And a lot, I just realized like a lot of the videos are not gonna be the same because a lot of people like are different. Like, a lot, people didn't get in for the same reason, which is what my video is going to be about. Because, oh, I need to get my iPad. I'm not trying to rush to do this video, but I just love the lighting also. So, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, this video is gonna is going to be like genuinely how I got in, how I think I got in. I have no idea how I got in, but I'm gonna just tell you what I did that made me get in. <laughs> so um I have good grades, so number one thing is going to be like grades and a lot of videos I watch is like yes, don't only focus on grades because it makes sense because people with straight A's, you would have straight A's and if you don't have other things, it won't count. So, but I've had like straight A's since my ninth grade and I only have one C in a college class, but the college class was in ninth grade. So it makes sense and I talked about it in my like writing talk. So, so to elaborate about why I got that C, because it's like a, a, um, a rigorous class in ninth grade. But apart from that, I've had straight A's. I, it's A pluses and like two to three A's just like regular A's and I'm not even sure if I add two to three it's probably just two A that I had in my on my transcript and the C that sh freaking stressed me out was the one I had in ninth grade and I'm heavy on extracurriculars because colleges want to see that you are very good in school but you also like balance it off with like doing other things that are just not academics because colleges are like it's like a life right like you just don't want to like come to school and get good grades and like leave they want you to like um engage in stuff be very very like given to their college type stuff so i did a lot of extracurricular i did chair for four years and i think well i did chair for like all my year but just the years that covid messed up which is like the ending of my 10th grade year, my full 11th grade year. But I started sharing my 9th grade and I became captain 10th grade. I did speech and debate from 10th grade. I founded the student government in my school and I ran for president and I'm the president of that. I did journalism and I was like the assistant chief editor for that in my 11th grade year. I did internship for two years, but I refused to do it my senior year. I did a lot of extracurricular activities and internships 
so like that's very very heavy because like that's where you get experiences that's where you get what to write about because i know like my ninth grade and early and 10th grade i wanted to do medicine i was heavy on medicine i've been heavy, heavy on medicine since like i was eight years old and i was doing a lot of that then uh what you call it i just had a brain for <laughs> i did a lot of that then i realized after i took like a internship type college class in Sydney university in jersey i realized medicine it was not for me and i'm not passionate about it and i was literally i felt like i was suffering in it and my huge goal with college and my life as a whole is i i don't I don't want to see my work as like work. I want to see it as a way of living, like as a daily life stuff. It's not like, like of course I will be stressed some couple of times, but I want to be happy stressed. I don't want to be like miserable in what I'm doing. Not to say like you're gonna be miserable in medicine, but that was not that was not what I love. Like people that are doing it, they're fine in it. Like they have the passion for it, but I don't have that passion to keep me going in it. So I will end up miserable. So I didn't do, I stopped doing medicine and that was a turning point. So I had to go back to square one and figure out, I already like know that I'm good at writing. I'm um, a performer. I like, I like do poetry. I act, I sing, I love directing, like, I just do more of art, um, art stuff. So I'm gonna go into communication, film and media, journalism, around those lane. So that kind of like points, like helped me with my college um, application because they are like so that because my ninth grade and um, tenth grade were like very medicine, and then it just switched to like arts, 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 arts. And it's like, wow. Sorry, I usually do vlog and not sit down videos, so this is very difficult because in my head I'm like I'm talking too much and then I'm like just freaking talk and personal statements are very important like personal statements are like not are like what colleges want to like read about and I feel like although it's like very important to like make your st personal statement like very very like you know out there and like everything grammar but honestly, pick what speaks to you. Because if you don't connect with your personal statement, how do you expect somebody else to connect with it? Like, I read my personal statement like yesterday because I started like reflecting on like how I got to this position of getting accepted to Dartmouth and like Stanford, like amazing schools like this. And I was going back, I went through all my common app list again and like I went to read everything again. I was like, wow. I read my personal statement and it still speaks to me till today. So pick a subject. I wrote about sexism. I wrote about sexism with my, um, also with my mom and something about Aristotle. I'll read that to you some other time. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Not today because I don't want this video to be too long. I wrote about that but because I am so heavy on that and I took a couple of classes for um, that deals with like feminism and like sexism, gender and all these things. So I'm very very heavy on that. So I was able to write from my heart with that and connect with it. Like don't let anybody tell you what to write about. Um, Cause like don't write about your grades if it's not like a major turning point. Cause they already see that you have AIDS. They want to like know about different things about you. Something oh like so like that's on that. And I get people to like edit your stuff like. I thought like my first draft like was like amazing but I still had like my um one of my professors like edit it for me uh then supplementals supplementals are like I'm pretty sure you guys know about it already but they're like um I'm, I'm having brain farts <laughs> there are questions that um colleges we ask in addition to your personal statement and your application so for Dartmouth this year I think they tell you to like choose out of out of like a couple of questions. See, when co colleges are asking for like supplemental supplemental essays, I see it as a way to always show yourself, as a way to like give a face and like character to the papers that they've been seeing. Because to colleges, you're just a paper, like everything you are, are like is a paper, and it's so like grades and like extracurriculars and so like perfect type stuff that they want to know who you are as for who you are so what did I write oh I wrote about Dartmouth um, nature because I love going to the park a lot because I get most of my inspiration from my writing like with um, from the park and 
because Dirtbo is literally in the earth of nature, so I write, I wrote something in that line. So like, just write um, about something that connects to you in Dirtbo. Like they, they are heavy on school tradition, so you could just speak one of those things, like write about it or whatever like speaks to you. Like write it. Why you wanna be here? And also in part of the list, they like gave you like questions to choose from on Common App. So uh, I chose. They would tell you to like choose like a something and relate it to your life basically so i chose everything changes everything moves everything revolves everything flies and goes away observed frida Kahlo. apply Kahlo's per perspective to your own life and i did that and i wrote about um me being an immigrant about how things and i wrote about me being an immigrant me believing in the way um gender roles were before and me like having all this switch like you know it goes with that like i really connect to that quote and i wrote about it <laughs> genuinely wrote about it i feel like teachers like anybody they talk so crazily heavy about what you're supposed to be writing like it's supposed to be constructed essay like analyzed all those type of stuff and like yes it's amazing but still if you are not write in what speaks to you i don't know how or why would you would think it will speak to others like you personally need to connect with it because that's the only way you would know what to write about and like connect to it i am heavy on like being the authentic my authentic self or like genuine that's the only thing that would get me like for other schools i was still genuine but i was so like Columbia, I hand for it and I was like, oh, I would write about this. I edited it so much that I just read it with big grammars that I couldn't even understand when I wrote it, but it made sense, so I just left it. Type stuff, right? Over Dartmouth, the um the quote like spoke to me and I wrote about it. So like other people that did that too, you know, if it worked for them, yes, if it didn't. And you also need to remember like sometimes colleges are like looking for specific students that they want on their um on their campus they might have had people in like your own um, category like enough of that and they were like want more different type of kids so don't ever like when i got declined i didn't like i didn't let it like hurt me for like, from like columbia like other schools i didn't let it like hurt me because i was like did i say nyu was a um ivy league i think i just thought about it no nyu is not an ivy league <laughs> but i think i said it but anyways um i just lost what i was gonna i was saying so i already talked about supplementals i talked about college essays i talked about personal statements your grades and what else i think that kind of oh oh my gosh the big one see how i totally forgot about it because i did not do it i applied to dartmouth and every of my school test optional i did not submit my test no act no i did it nope like and a lot of the cop one of my teachers like did mention like oh ish like that's gonna be like a in my um application but i did not submit any of my tests i went test optional and i got in stanford and dartmouth like so if you think you were gonna hear that from me yeah i went test optional <laughs> and it's the last thing i said because i really did not I didn't just do it. I didn't just do it, cause no. I mean, I got like to be fair. Um, my ACT, I took my ACT twice, and I got the same. So I think I got a, um 18 on both of it, and on my SAT I got uh 1,080 or 1,110. I think that was what I got. I got 1110 or like 1080 for SAT. So I just chose not to go use any of them, cause. I believed in the other things that I was doing and I don't believe in like tests I genuinely don't believe in tests especially in the predominantly black neighborhood I don't believe in tests so no that's that's not that that's not that but if any for anybody that is like aspiring to go to Dartmouth that's all I did I'm not like a insanely smart student I don't know hella stuff okay I don't know hella stuff but it's just you being your genuine self, but also being 
academically genuine self while writing while doing stuff just chasing what you specifically love will get you into schools and even if you don't get to the schools of your dreams or like whatever it's not you it's not you don't think about it like that and honestly I don't want to draw this video longer than it's supposed to be so if you have any other question comment about it below and also my vlog for Dartmouth for visiting Dartmouth like the tours and all that good stuff will be coming up after this video so um, turn on your post notification for that if I don't have it up already and ask me questions in the comments I'm glad to and I'm like happy to like answer the questions and if you want me to actually read my personal statement and read the supplementals essays that I wrote for Dartmouth I will gladly read it too and I will do my Stanford video also when I'm, I'm going up to Stanford next week for Admit Weekend that I don't know yet so yeah I will <laughs> eventually talk about the school that i got in for decision day so thank you so much for watching up to this point don't forget to comment like and subscribe ask questions i will reply and um follow my follow me on my instagram at underscore tonight double underscore it's been so long i said that i forgot about it but thank you so much enjoy the rest of your evening your night your afternoon peace out